Hello, hello. Are you guys ready for some oogity boogity? What's up, Jerry? How are you? Welcome. I am Arathon Hanzo. This is my playmat. It says Arathon Hanzo on it. Would you look at that? Not really. Thanks for stopping by. I uh, I have two things to open tonight. I have two Dustmore Nightmare bundles. One of them I got at my normal store. One of them I bought at Target. One of them I've also already opened. I've already opened, I bought two of these at Target. These are our uh, chase cards that we already pulled from the, the Nightmare Pack, which has two cards in it. One of three poster cards, one of three special guest type card things. So maybe we can get three for three on all those. But the reason I show you that is because this one is a little dinged up right here. I'm kind of all around it. This is the one that came from Target. It's even like bent way over here. The one I opened was cut like all the way up to here. And I was curious if someone took something from it, and that's why I was busted like that, or if it was just busted. The Target gave me an okay deal. They actually took 10% off for the, the busted boxes. I made the case that this is a, you know, not just a bunch of booster packs inside, but the box itself is a collectible. So they uh, generously gave me $8 off. So that's okay, though. I feel like that brought me pretty close to the, the online price at the time, which was $70 for these. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, you know, let's open the busted one first. We'll go back to back on target with these. And inside of here, I feel like even though uh, the poster cards and stuff may, may not be the greatest, you could definitely say that they're not very high value or chase cards or anything spectacular. I will say that the regular packs inside of here, you know, if it's an $80 MSRP, the rest of it turns out pretty good, I think. So here we have Nightmare Bundle Pack. But then there's two collector boosters, right? We're gonna get 50 bucks there. And then there's six play boosters. And I'm pretty sure MSRP on play boosters is seven a piece. So what is six times seven? Six times seven is 42. So we're already over costs on this thing just by the packs inside. So, I feel like this is pretty, pretty okay. There's also uh, lands inside of here. Four each of each full art land from this. Two foil, two non-foil. So, if you like full art lands, they're guaranteed inside this bundle. And then there's like uh, some full out poster stuff for each of the poster cards that you can look at too. But, uh, that's all that's in here. I feel like the collectability of the box itself probably isn't great. This thing's kind of cool. But I'm not going to hang on to any of them. I don't know if anybody else is. But if you do, maybe you'll be the only one that has one. There are plenty of people that collect boxes. The dice is pretty cool. I like this jumbo dice. Itchy nose. Full of crack. That's why it's itchy. Uh, but this thing glows in the dark, too. You can uh, charge it up with some, some light and then... Make it shine. So this thing's pretty cool. I'm very happy that I'm going to have a bunch of them. This is the regular Dustmorn dice. The green and purple on this one's slightly different. So that's cool. All right, well, I'm going to punish you all and go in reverse order here. We will go play boosters first. Play boosters first and see what we can get. Obviously, overlords would be fantastic. Overlords pay the bills. I'm going to just blow through commons and uncommons, I think. Bear Crap, Saber of the Small, Baseball Bat, Unnerving Grasp. First bear is a Roaring Furnace Stream is on, then Is Land and Under the Skin. It's an art card. There is like a... I guess I'll pull the rare out. Roaring Furnace Streaming Sauna. Is this the good one? Yeah, that's not bad. Draw two cards every turn. That's probably pretty good. Draw two cards is nice. But yeah, I don't want to spend too many time on these play boosters. And uh, we'll just kind of roll, roll through them. Unless we find the good ones. Friendly Teddy. Brood Spinner. Rootwise Survivor. The Mind Scanner. I think this might be my first Mind Scanner, not an extended art. Split Up. There's a new Board Wipe. 
Strangled Cemetery and Veteran Survivor. There's a whole lot in that pack. Two rare bonies, too. Boom. Booster pack. What do we got in that booster pack? Ooh, maybe I'll torture you guys some more. I won't even open the collector boosters yet. I'll just open all these play boosters, and then I'll get the play boosters. Oh, that's the bad enchantment. Play bo oh, that's the good enchantment. There we go. There's one uncommon worth like $2, and that's it. Cold Snap, Nuisance, Nashy, Oristo, and Foil Trapped on the Screen. Insecty Token. Insecty Token. Ta da! Cult Healer. Boiler Bidges. Boiler Bidges. It's Bilges. I just can't get the word out. Clammy Prowler. Cynical Loner. Fear of Infinity. Bow! <laughs> Bow the Boss Terror Eater. Well, there we go. There's the guy. There's the guy. Neglected Manor. And say his name. The guy. Valgaboth. Terror Eater. He is the Mothman. The Happy Mothman. Why do moths look like vaginas, though? That's what I want to know. Oh, flying lifelink. He's a 9-9. To even target him with a spell, you have to sacrifice three non land permanents. This is a pretty nasty man. He is the nasty man. Although, one nasty man gives us a pretty good shot. Got a good return on this box. Boom. A living phone. Dragonfire. Winner's Intervention, Cryptid Inspector, Creeping Peeper, Twist Reality, Seas from Slumber, Razorkin Horde Caller, Keys to the House, Blood Pits Drowner, Unidentified Hover Ship, we get a UFO, Is Land, and a Foil Razorkin Horde Caller. I feel like every foil we've had so far was also in the pack. What do you guys think? I feel like every foil one. Not my best pack rip there. A little, little duty. Most valuable slayer. Cracked skull. Say its name. Piranha fly. Unsettling twins. Cackling slasher. Ooh. Little crazy monkey man. Fear of isolation. Brood spinner. Painter studio. Coordinated clobber. And here we go. Head shredder. I feel like head shredder is pretty good in limited. Bleeding woods and foil. Double foil. Scorching Dragon Fire is the other foe. Ooh, Gremlin token. You need your Gremlins to get them here. You need your Gremlins. Oh my god, this pile of cards, I put it down and now it's like uncorrectable. Can't get them straight. Alright, there we go, there we go. Alright, problem solved, problem solved. Alright, here's the first collector booster from this box. Let's see if we can get triple Valgaboth. Would be nice. Triple Valgo off would be nice. There's a Gremlin token on the back. G Gremlin. Alright, so we will just blow through commons, uncommons here. Our right, near irrelevant. We have a swamp. Come back wrong. Seance board is pretty good now. Enduring Vitality. Thorn Spire Verge. And the Roller Crusher Ride. I feel like Roller Crusher Ride has fallen off in price, but still pretty good card. And a Kaido emblem token. That's pretty cool. Roller. I guess this is a mythic. It can, you roller crusher ride. You can be special by yourself. You're a, you're your own mythic. I'm a happy guy. All right. Let's see here. Pinch, pinch, and pull. Hmm. All right. Murky sewer. Get through the gunk. Gunk by ghost. There's a foil. No wait. Yeah, yeah, sheltered by ghosts. Ethereal armor isn't the good one. Sheltered by ghosts is the good one. All right, here we go. Forest, Silent Hall Creeper, Ancient Cellar Spawn, Curse Recording, Winter Miss Anthropic Guide, Noxious Revival. This is a special guest card. Hmm, very interesting. And a spirit token. I'm curious what Noxious Revival is going for. All right, now we will reveal our secret special cards from, oh, that's upside down, from the Nightmare Bundle. 
Ooh, sealed product, not for resale. I feel when they're thin like this, when there's only two cards in here, I'm gonna try to open it from the other side. I get much more nervous about pinching the bottom of the card instead of the bottom of the pack. Oh, come on. There we go. I got it. Didn't have to get the scissors out. I wonder if I should just use scissors on these in the future. All right, so one will be a special guest commander card and one will be a poster. So our first is Exum. Exum. Then we have Gorio's Vengeance. That's good. These are two we did not have. I think what's interesting about these cards though is, oh, that thing's... Oh, I picked up a perfect fit. I had one perfect fit sitting on my table here. The first thing I picked up. This Exum looks like mega off center. Maybe not, not really, maybe a little bit on the back. Maybe it's only on the bottom. I don't know. I might just be looking at it wrong. The border looks way fatter on this side than that side. So we'll see how that goes. But we have two of three on both. We have a chance to actually get there and go for a perfect three of three on those cards. Now might be a good time to buy those cards because I think it took a while on the oil slick cards, but the oil slick cards from our last like special bundle, the Phyrexian Complete Edition, those things went wild in price. Now let's get out our other dice, our big boy dice. And get out all of our packs. We'll put the little baby deck box back in this time. There we go. And ta-da. And lands to the side. Where did I put those other lands? Oops, I almost took the Nightmare Bundle with them. Lands, Collector Booster. Play Booster. All right, and we are ready to go for round two. Six Play Boosters. Anyway, the value on these is pretty pretty poor right now. I feel like people thought maybe they're going to open these up, and uh, people also thought they are going to be much rarer than they seem to be. There's a goat, a machete, sick twister, dissection tools, and a foil percussionist. I think definitely people thought the bundles were going to be a lot rarer than they be, because there's definitely stores talking about how they got their allocations cut, they didn't get as much as they ordered, they were told they were going to be late on top of that, so then kind of, these things got hyped up as rare, grab as many as you can when you can, and then uh, there's not a whole lot to them, except for pack value, which is pretty good, I think. It's not like the uh, pricing bundle where you have the oil slick lands, too, that really drove the price of that thing up. So hopefully in the future, those poster cards, since they are only available here, do retain some sort of value. But right now they are plummeting because everyone's trying to dump these. Jump scare. Serial armor. Norin. Nowhere to run. Skull scap. Uh, Grimoire. An etch cornfield and a cheerleader. Grimoire is definitely the rare I have the most of and I don't really know what to do with it. Hmm. Oh, if you uh, discard cards in hand, you lose the game, and you have no cards in hand. Sounds bad. All right, Vicious Clown, Vengeance, Branch Snapper, Fear of Surveillance, Razorkin, Crazy Monkey, Attack in a Box, Savor of the Small, Fear of Burning Alive, Baseball Bat, Undead Sprinter, Oops, Rockus Carnival, and a Foil Rip Spawn Hunter, Toy Token. These ones feel, this is baseball bat for sure, these feel like they are printed a little thick. They're very clear. Especially the text on those. The black is very black on it. All right, this is play booster number four for this set. Dang, these play boosters, either I've just gotten gung-ho about ripping, ripping them off or they're not particularly strong in this pack. Monstrous Emergence, a Bear Trap, Inquisitive Glimmer, Betrayer's Bargain, Exercise, Enduring Vitality. There we go, got a double. Planes, and Frantic Strength. 
Doo, doo, doo. I knocked all these cards over too while I was doing that. Now I got a pile of cards going everywhere. Don't do me like this, cards. All right. Two. Two packs to go, baby. I got two packs to go. Two, two packs to go. Fear of the Dark, Beastie, Tunnel to Rare, Emerge from the King. Ooh, turn inside out. We need Paramorphic Expanse, Frantic Strength, Beastie Beatdown, Horde Caller, Drowner. Keys to the house. Nico, Light of Hope. There we go. A new mythic. Murky Sewer. And Fear of the Dark. Well, did we have Fear of the Dark? Is that, isn't that what I said? Where's he at? There he is. The very first card. Every pack foil is in the pack already. This is wild. This deserves investigation. Someone must tell us why the world is the way it is. All right, this is the last play booster. Then we've got the next two Chelector boosters. All right, Resurrected Cultist. Say his name. Meat Locker, Unsettling Twins, Most Valuable Slayer, Seize from Slumber, Twist Reality, Get Out. Threats Around Every Corner, Shroud Stomper, Veteran Survivor, Ooh, Balustrade Worm, Razor Trap Gorge, and Fear of Burning Alive. I don't think Balustrade Worm really held up anything. People were really excited about it, and it uh, it did not do the do, you know. All right, first collector booster from this box. This one feels thick. Now oh, there's one more card in here than the other one from the play booster, but if this particular pack feels chonky, maybe it's because it's Pringles a little bit. Uh, let's see, uh, foil murder, scream, we make get out, gremlin, blood pits drowner. Bloodsucker Mountain. Funeral Room Awakening Hall. There we go. Start with a mythic. Winter, Cynical Opportunist. This is the commander version of Winter. Playline of Transformation. Hauntwood Shrieker. I like this artwork, but the card isn't very much. And Marina Vendrell in foil. Ooh. I guess you're a mythic too, Hauntwood Shrieker. So we got three mythics out of that pack, so can't complain about it too much. Ah. Too shabby. All right, here's our last collector booster. Dun, dun, dun. Ta da! Dramatic. Moldering Room, Soul Rager, Friendly Ghost, Creeping Peeper, Fungus, Fear of Failed Test, Al Panic, The Thrice Called, I got it. Optimistic Scavenger, Big Forest. Enduring Curiosity, Convert to Slime, it's slime time, Omnivorous Flytrap, Playline of the Void, Toby Beastie Befriender, the final card, Showcase Toby, well, no gigantic bombs out of that, let us check, let's see if we can get the final three cards out of the Nightmare Pack. Go perfect three for three on these. I don't even know what the other two are, so I just will know that they're not the two I already have. So let's look. No exhum, no cryptcast. Ah, double exhum. All right, let's see if we can hit on the next one. Ooh, Archon of Cruelty. Is that what I had already? No, no, it's not. We did it. We got all three. Sleeve this guy up. You're dead to me, exhum. Get out of here. Nobody likes you anymore. All right. Now, we have the trio of poster cards. That worked out well. These are the, the main things we're hunting out of this. We just wanted to get one of each of them. And now, we're done with Nightmare Bundles. I don't have to see them anymore. I think we did okay, though. There's a Valgavoth under there. There's a Nico under there, so they're probably reasonable value if I get rid of these. Probably not $8 a piece. The packs, though, are still worth more than the bundle themselves, so there's a lot of people out there just saying these Nightmare Bundles are terrible. Don't buy them. Don't do anything with them. You get something unique in them. You get pack value, so if you're interested in them, just go grab one. I think they're cool. So thank you guys for stopping by. That's all I got for today. Quick one. Um, Foundations comes out next week on the 7th, so... Big time. And then uh, 
Lorcana, Azurite Sea comes out the weekend after that. So we're going to have Winds Marvel Monday morning, November 4th, be on the Wizards of the Coast website trying to smash that button and get in queue to buy Marvel. That's when it will happen. And uh, if I get one, I'll have them by that Friday, I hope. So maybe the week after that. <coughs> Woo! All sneezing. All sneezing aside. Maybe next weekend or next next time I stream, I might be able to have one. So we'll see, hopefully. But thanks again, everybody, for coming by. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.